serving a state that voted overwhelmingly for Donald Trump. Senator Joe Manchin of West Virginia is viewed by many as an endangered species of Democrat. But he's in New Hampshire on a mission to reach out to voters who are fed up with the hyperpartisan status quo. That majority of people that have become homeless, politically homeless, and there's a place for them. Manchin is here with No Labels, an organization that has been trying for years now to advance a more centrist politics. His trip to the Granite State spurring talk of a third party presidential run. What would prompt you to run for president in 2024? I have, uh, I, I just want people, I haven't made a decision on what I'm going to do in 2024. And this is not about me or anybody else. It's about two parties that have gone to their respective side, the extreme right and extreme left. And the middle has been left behind, and there's no voice for the middle. The No Labels effort to lay the groundwork for a third party run is drawing a sharp response from Democrats, who believe the most likely outcome would be the return of Donald Trump to the White House. Former House Majority Leader Dick Gephardt says if Trump regains power, he may not let it go. This has nothing to do with politics, nothing to do with left, right, center, nothing to do with any issue. This is about are we going to have elections in this country and are we going to continue to be a democracy? Former Utah Governor John Huntsman, an honorary co-chair of No Labels, dismisses the idea a third party candidate might play the role of spoiler in 2024. In the most innovative, creative country of the world, the United States of America, we should be looking at ways to expand participation and engagement politically. In Manchester, Adam Sexton, WMUR News 9.